I'm back in Washington. <laughs> uh, this is quite the change from California. It's 43 degrees. When I was waking up in California, it was like 60 something. <laughs> kind of missed that a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn some heat on. Because my nose is running already. There we go. So I did a full face of makeup of the makeup I left home. I haven't used primer. I don't, I don't think I showed you guys. I can't remember if I did. Um, when I went to California, I basically packed all of my makeup because one of the plans we had was to kind of help Lulu figure out how to do makeup. She's really new to makeup and I had sent her some stuff and Sarah Webb had sent her some stuff and then while I was there, I, I took every eyeshadow palette I have except for two like really small ones. Um, the Maybelline and the Bronx colors from the full face-offs and so she went through all of my makeup there was just a few that I was like no you can't have that one sorry <laughs> like those are my favorites those are the ones I use all the time um, and I did give her some that I use all the time like or that I have used just because I knew that like those were her colors but popped like a little brighter <clears throat> she is a very nude girl she wears lots and lots of nudes and so when Brittany and I were there Brittany is the queen of color she always has a super dope bright eye and I usually am bright lips and so when we were there we were trying to get Lulu to get out of her comfort zone and do some of these like brighter makeup looks and so I think I can't remember how many she took maybe like somewhere between like six and ten I think um, eyeshadow palettes and I hope she took a full face palette too so I hope that she's experimenting with makeup when she goes back to work today just like I am <clears throat> so I have primer on from the ordinary I have Bronx colors foundation Cody Airspun. The Bronx Color Strobing Kit is my bronzer, blush, and highlight. The eyeshadow is Bronx Colors and then a pop of the Maybelline uh, City Palette. And the lip is Maybelline Stay Matte. And eyeliner is NYX Epic Eyeliner. Mascara is better than sex <clears throat> um, I got a sample size of better than sex mascara so that's what I'm wearing today um, I came home Saturday and I plucked like I hadn't touched my face and I get like these coarse black hairs in this area and right here on my chin and so I had plucked them and I don't know can you guys see down here that it's like super irritated? I hope you can see that because it's really irritated. <clears throat> so I'm heading to work and I'm I'm pretty nervous to see what is gonna be on my desk. Because <laughs> Roger was like, you have a lot to do. And I was like, I don't like you saying that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like that. <clears throat> but I knew that like he wouldn't do a bunch of extra stuff. Like, he he wasn't there for that. We just really needed a butt in the chair to answer the phone and kind of keep things a little bit under control. <clears throat> so I knew that would happen. Um, Roger actually has two job interviews today. I'm very, very proud of him. He went and bought himself some new shirts so he would look all snazzy. So I'm excited to see him after that. He can tell me all about it. He's gonna come by work after his interviews. Um, I got him a couple things while I was on vacation. So, and then tomorrow, um, they didn't do anything for my boss's birthday because he really wanted the beefcake. So, I'm gonna have to go tonight and get stuff to make meatloaf. And, I don't 
don't know if I even explained what my boss wants. He wants a, a beefcake. I showed him this one thing and it was, it's a meatloaf with mashed potato frosting and they wrote like happy birthday and ketchup. And so that's what he wants for his birthday and his birthday was on Friday. So I think I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. Um, I also don't know if I told you guys, but my debit card got compromised while I was in California. Um, someone tried to use it, or they did use it, in Portland, Oregon at Fred Meyer for like $89. And the fraud alert like called me and I said, no, that wasn't me. And so they immediately shut my card off. And I called the bank on Saturday morning, that was Friday evening. I called the bank Saturday morning and they, um, said all I have to do is come in and sign something that says that that charge wasn't me and they'll issue me a new debit card but I don't know how long it's going to take to get a new debit card because I my plan was to not use my credit card on vacation because I have plenty of money in my bank account but I had to use my credit card for Friday evening and all day Saturday and all day Saturday was gas and food to get home because I had used the last of my cash to pay for dinner on Friday night. And so I, I was pretty irritated that I had to use my credit card, not gonna lie. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So as soon as I get paid again, I'll have to put all of that back on my credit card. Cause I don't wanna touch my debit card money right now. <clears throat> I just wanna leave it where it's at so they're not I just don't want to do anything suspicious looking, I guess. And I'm really wondering how they got my card number and like how they bought, what, what did they buy? Like, I don't know. So I'm hoping they just like put gas in their car or something. Like maybe they super needed it. Like if they had asked me, I probably would have just, you know, gave them some gas. I don't know. It's like one of those things where I'm like, dude, really? Like, I just don't get it. And so... My throat is like super scratchy today. Um, it was kind of scratchy yesterday. I think <laughs> all the laughing and singing on Saturday is catching up to my voice. <sighs> so yeah, I'm heading to work and I'm nervous to see all the work that I have to do. I was gonna commit at seven and I could not fall asleep last night. So I didn't get to bed until, I didn't fall asleep until after midnight. I was listening to an audio book, trying to like calm myself and like shut my brain off. That didn't work. So it was like after midnight when I finally got to sleep and my alarm started going off at six and I was like, <laughs> no. Although you're not really getting good sleep in those 10 minutes before the snooze buttons, but it seems like you're sleeping forever. I mean, come on now, you have to admit that. <laughs> like, wow. I talked to you. Oh, I did. Uh, I got to FaceTime my nephews yesterday morning. Well, two of them anyway. Um, they were with my mom. And so I got to talk to them. And they thought I was coming to see them yesterday. And I was like, no, I'll have to come next weekend. So I'll see them next weekend. And they're excited to see me. And then... Oh, I did talk to my sister because she called me in the evening and Leo was being so helpful and he washed the tablet so it was all clean. But now it's broken. <laughs> like, it don't work now. Uh, he thought he was being helpful and so I talked to him on the phone a little bit. <laughs> oh, my poor sister. <laughs> Some days I'm just like, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> but then she shows me pictures of like the two youngest ones in their little gator with a package in the back. Like it's adorable. Like I can't even. They're so cute. Hey guys. So I just went and checked my P.O. box. So I thought I would open some stuff for you guys. I have Universal Yum's box and a PR package from Juno and three cards. So check it out. Good evening, Candy. Just wanted to drop this short note during the change of season. May you continue to find success with your channel and all your dreams come true. Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I love that. She sent me a few stickers and a cute little leaf. 
Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that so much. Um, I will say that being in California and seeing the leaves change there and just all of the beautiful scenery that I saw was mesmerizing. It was so beautiful. All right, this one's from Rob. There's a cute kitty on the back. A Halloween riddle just for you. What is a ghost's favorite sandwich? Bouloni. <laughs> happy Halloween. Candy, just want to say happy Halloween. P.S. You're the best. My favorite YouTuber. Always. Sorry if this is random. <laughs> Rob is so funny. Here is Rob's Instagram. If you guys want to follow Rob. He's such a sweet guy. Message me every, messages me every once in a while just to check in. I I appreciate you guys when you do that so much. I hope you guys know that. And I try to reach out sometimes, but life gets a little crazy for candy. And I forget how much you guys mean to me sometimes. I hope if that makes sense. Um this is from Alicia from Texas. You sparkle and shine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this one says, oh, for fox sakes. And this one says, zero fox given. Candy, thank you so much for being so honest and open with us. Thank you for always being open about mental health. Myself, I have bipolar one and it's really tough to adult. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to see someone opening up about mental illness and how it affects them. Makes me feel like I'm not alone. I enclosed some Fox decals I made. They are super cute. You should check out my shop if you ever need custom anything. I make almost anything. Thank you so much for being a great inspiration. Oh, it's Olika. That's such a beautiful name. If your nephews have specific likes, I would love to make them decals. Aww. Custom items handmade with love by Olika Whitworth and Danika Smith. So here is their information. I will try to remember to put it down below, but if I don't, at least it's here. So that is adorable. I forgot to tell you guys. You can't see it now because I have so much stuff in my car still, but um, Jen Summer. Summer? Jen Summer, I think is her name. Now I have to look again. Jen Fields Summer, <laughs> there we go. Jen Fields Summer on Instagram. Let me show you guys her information. She had made me a bumper sticker that says Candy Fox and it's in pink letters, it's super cute. I've had it on the back of my car. It survived California. Um, it's, it's so cute and it has my YouTube address on it. It's, I love it. Um, Jen does photography and stuff like that. She also has a YouTube channel and she's so talented with photography. It's amazing. I have, she, last Christmas she sent me a picture of this little hamster at a little desk and it's like the most adorable thing I've ever seen and it's in my room all the time and it makes me happy every time I look at it. So, all right. So today was rough at work, not gonna lie. Uh, there was quite the pile of things to get done and I did not even get a quarter of the way through it, but I made progress. So that's, that's, that's good, I guess. Um, I left about 15 minutes early so I could get to the bank. They got me a new debit card. Um, the person had made two purchases on my debit card, one at Fred Meyer and one on TriMet, which is the... Uh, metro transportation in Portland so whoever it was is definitely in Portland um, so that's fun I don't know where they got my information from <sighs> yeah no clue no clue could have been from anywhere I guess I could have got gas or something in Portland and it got stolen so um, so I just went in the bank and signed the thing saying that I didn't make those purchases I mean it was obvious <laughs> because in between their two purchases was a purchase that I made in Sacramento. There's no way to get from Sacramento to Portland in that short amount of time. So yeah, so I got a new card and 
it'll take a couple weeks to see if they'll give me my money back, which I'm, I'm sure they will, but they'll investigate for a couple weeks. So instead of using my new debit card, I just took some money out <laughs> to go buy groceries. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but tomorrow, my boss's birthday was Friday and he wants a beef cake. I, I don't remember if I talked about this this morning. He wants a beef cake, so I have to make a meatloaf with mashed potato frosting and say happy birthday on top in ketchup. So I have to figure that out tonight. So I gotta go get some groceries because literally in my house is, in my fridge I have some almond milk and some leftover Chick-fil-A from the weekend. Uh, I, I had went and got Chick-fil-A on Saturday. So there's some Chick-fil-A in my fridge. Um, what else is going on? Nothing really. I'm gonna go get my car washed as well. And then tonight, I think I'm going to dye my hair. Um, I mean, you guys can see that it's grown out. I bought Arctic Fox this time to try because I haven't tried them before. And so I had bought that and when I washed my hair, I used only shampoo and that was one of the things that it said to use only shampoo to wash your hair. Which I kind of like doing. Um, I probably only use conditioner once a week, maybe. Why did I take my sunglasses off? Mm, Mr. Sun. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And um, my car is disgustingly dirty from the road trip, so I need to go get my car washed. And I think I only have one free car wash certificate left up here. I think it's my last one. Yep, it's my last one. So I have to start paying for car washes again. Terrible, terrible. Uh, what else happened today? My boss was happy to have me back, that's for sure. Um, Roger went on his job interviews and then came by my work and talked to me and brought me a soda. I was like, I had texted him and I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I can make it through the day, I need more caffeine. So he went and got me a Diet Coke, which was so nice of him. And um, his interviews went well, but one of the companies was like, it may take up to a month because we have to go through corporate for hiring and blah, blah, blah. So hopefully he will hear something soon. But he looked really nice. He went and got himself, you know, a couple polo shirts and he was in jeans and I hardly ever see him like that. Like... He is a basketball shorts and t-shirt kind of person when he's not in his work clothes. So it was nice to see him kind of dressed up. Um, yeah, and I, bought, I had bought him, he is a Mountain Dew drinker. And so when I was at Total Wine, um, they had a Not Your Father's Mountain Dew or Mountain Ale, I think they called it. And so I got him that and I had got him some uh, popcorn at this popcorn store. I didn't want to get him like too much and like I knew he didn't need anything so I just got him like this little bag of popcorn and this alcoholic soda. Nothing too big. I did, well probably a little overboard on my nephews but I'll probably show you guys that to be honest. Um, I kind of want to show you what I bought while I was there. Really lady? That light was so red. If ours has been green for that long, really? Come on now. Um, yeah, I'd like to show you guys what I bought, but I haven't been able to get everything in the house yet. Yeah, I'd like to do like a little haul, and then <laughs> at the same time, I'll do like an unboxing of what I got in packages while I was gone, because I got some uh, pretty cool makeup. I got some Jeffree Star. I got Juvia's Place. I got some stuff from Tarte. So I'm excited about those, and then I got some Juno. A Universal Yums box. Um, I won't be getting Universal Yums anymore. I think I have one or two boxes left. So I won't be getting those anymore, but I am going to continue getting Degusta. And apparently people were really upset that I didn't try a lot of the stuff in the Degusta box. So I will be better about that. I didn't realize you guys cared that much. <laughs> like... I guess I didn't realize the tasting was such a big part of it. So I will make sure I do that. Um, I did try a few things, but not all of them. 
someone, gosh, I forget who it was now, they suggested that I, oh, there's my boss. <laughs> um, they suggested that I go throughout the week if I don't try them right away because like sometimes when I'm opening them I'm like I really don't want to eat anything right now but if I try them throughout the week to do that and that's a really good idea so I think I am gonna do that I'm sorry I don't remember who said that but I did comment and tell you thank you that was a great idea so I'll probably do that I think that's an easier way the reason I keep getting degusta is that so many of you have signed up that my boxes are free um, because I get credit for every time someone signs up. So you guys get $10 off your box and I get $10 off my box. And so for every two of you that sign up, I get a free box and that's awesome that we all get to try it. So I'm not gonna like throw away a free box, you know what I mean? And I've been, cause you guys hadn't seen them for quite a while. I've been giving a lot of it to my sister because like like the fruit snacks and stuff that's more for the boys than like an adult who lives on her own <laughs> you know what I mean oh I didn't show you guys my new wallet <laughs> I love it it was only like seven dollars and it's like a full-on full wallet I freaking love it so I got my wallet for seven bucks I got this purse this purple cute ass purse at Goodwill for eight bucks. Like, we had so much fun at Goodwill. Literally, you guys, we were in Goodwill for like over an hour and we had so much fun. We were just being silly, dude, like so silly, just silly girls. Um, at one point, Lulu had this like unicorn tail between her legs and some weird mask on her face and Brittany had some weird mask on her face and like, if, if I can find the picture, I'll insert it here. I lost it. I was laughing so hard at these girls. Like, I can't even tell you. That, ugh. I messaged both of them today. Well, Brittany messaged me first. And I had messaged Lulu already. And I was like, oh, Monday sucks. This is the worst Monday ever. And we were all just like, no, I don't want to be here. I want to still be on vacation. What did I do yesterday? Oh, I just hung out at the house. Kind of relaxed and recouped. I needed, like, Brittany and I were super swelled up from, like, the heat, eating so much, like, salty, delicious food while we were gone, and sitting in the car for so long that, like, my feet were super swelled up and my legs. And so yesterday I tried to make sure that my legs were up and I was pounding water. So I drank like, I probably drank a gallon and a half of water yesterday to just like <laughs> cleanse my system, you know what I mean? And I tried to make sure, I like I watched Netflix for most of the day, I started making a murderer and I started re-watching The Haunting of Hill House because I watched it already, I watched the whole series, but I feel like it's one of those shows that you have to watch twice because the second time you can look for little things. <clears throat> so I'm excited to like go through and watch it again and like catch those little things. There's a, <laughs> Lulu posted something today about a grilled cheese festival that's happening in Sacramento in April and I was like, mm, is that too early to go back? <laughs> because Brittany and I talked about grilled cheese for a long time in the car. I don't know why we were talking about cheese so much. So much so that I bought, like, um, when we were at that gas station, she bought that panini that was like ham and cheese, I think. And then I bought some cheese and I ate cheese. It was delicious. <laughs> That's how much we talked about cheese. Oh man, cheese is so good. Last night I downloaded all of the stuff off my camera from vacation and it was 81 different clips. 81. What would you guys like to see this week? Any uh, any recipes you wanna see coming up? I'm gonna have to do another what I eat in a week, so. You know what, I think I might go to Grocery Outlet. I haven't been there in a super long time. And I heard they have some pretty good stuff. 
and it's right here. <laughs> All right, let's go into grocery outlet. I don't, I don't know if I'll take you out there, but I'll take you with me. All right, not the most flattering, but I've already got ground beef, ground turkey, mushrooms, potatoes. So I'm doing well. All right, I think that's about it. I'm gonna call Roger, see if he's got some onion soup mix. If not, I'm gonna have to run over to Safeway, which kind of sucks. I didn't want to have to. Though. All right, so all that stuff cost me around eighty-seven dollars. Yeah, eighty-seven. It's not too bad. I mean, the whole front seat of my car is full. Luckily, Roger has some onion soup mix. It's the only thing I didn't have. And I can show you guys my meatloaf recipe. Guys, the moon's out and it looks so cool. La la la. It's kind of spooky. But got my onion soup mix. So we good to go. I'm probably actually gonna put my groceries away and then take like a break, a little break. Oh gosh, I have to finish my laundry and fold my laundry. But that that meal has to be made tonight. So probably take a little break and then make it later in the evening. When you can't tell if the caution tape is actual caution tape or Halloween decorations. That's what time of year it is right now, y'all. <laughs> I'm just not sure. <laughs> like, oh man. Our neighbors moved out not long ago, so it's it's been empty for probably a month now. I noticed there was a car there yesterday and they're like fixing up some stuff outside. So we have new neighbors. Maybe I'll actually like get to know someone that lives near me. Beep. Whoops. <laughs> That's how today's gonna go. I came home last night and I relaxed and I kind of went through the bags and stuff on my bed from my trip. I finished my laundry up. I haven't folded it yet. Um, and I made I made the meatloaf mix, but I didn't cook it. Like I cooked just a teeny tiny amount so that I could taste it and make sure it was good. So I like just fried it in a pan. It's a really good trick for meatloaf. And then um, I was in my room and I was like, I played a little bit of my video game and I was like feeling kind of tired, so I laid down. And I lay there for like two hours, could not fall asleep. So I started listening to my audiobook. <laughs> it was not helping. And then I have this app on my phone that's like, a relaxation shut your brain off app type thing it's like it helps you go to sleep helps you kind of like zen out I guess that didn't work so I was just laying there and like last time I looked at the clock it was 2 30 a.m. my alarm goes off at 6 30 <laughs> I got out of bed at 7 though which is not terrible so I had enough time to like do my hair real quick. Like I just put it up halfway and put a little bit of eyeliner on and some mascara. My mom called me this morning so I had to talk to her before I left the house. I just, boy, I don't know what to do about the meatloaf. Like, okay, so here's my dilemma. My boss wanted the beefcake, I told you guys that. Well. What we do for cake is we have our shifts shifts change at 3.30. So we have our day shift and our night shift. And so they're all there at 3.30. So that's when we usually do cake. But it's a meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So like, I want to serve it hot. And so like, I'm not sure quite what to do. I made the meatloaf mix and <clears throat> that's in the fridge 
So I think what I'm gonna have to do is come home at like 2.30ish and put the meatloaf in the oven. And while that's going, make the mashed potatoes and then take the meatloaf out, build the cake and go back to work. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, because I don't see any other way to do it. And then I also can't decide if I wanna make it, do I wanna make it in a rectangle pan? Or what I can do is make two round shapes and make it on a sheet pan and then stack them. So like it would be a meatloaf on the bottom, mashed potato frosting, a meatloaf, mashed potato frosting, and like some decoration with ketchup. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the meatloaf mix. I didn't make it until like 11 o'clock and I didn't wanna be in the kitchen like talking and filming because that's a little loud. <clears throat> so here's how I make meatloaf. I had, I think a five pound, five pounds? Maybe I only had three pounds. Three or five pounds of beef, uh, four eggs, a sleeve of saltine crackers, two dry uh, French onion soup mix packets, some Johnny's, uh, Worcestershire sauce, and that's it. Then you mix it all together and you bake it. It's super easy. I just mix it with my hands. Um, <laughs> I have this tool in my kitchen to clean out from underneath my nails because that's gross. <laughs> so I do not have beef nails, which is great. So then I just like, I took like a little meatball of it and I um, patted it down in a small frying pan and cooked it up and it tasted really, really good. So my only problem is the beef that I got is like 13% fat. So there's a lot of fat that renders out of it. Um, so I worry about that a little bit. We'll have to see. I'm just like, I'm like, yeah. not sure quite what to, what to do. I don't know. I don't know if maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, so that's, that's that dilemma. And I don't know if I was like worrying about that and that's why I couldn't fall asleep. But it was, uh, I was so tired. <laughs> and I got food last night, but like I got like groceries, but I didn't cook anything. So I don't have anything to take for lunch today. So I'm gonna have to go get some kind of food. I was on ColourPop today and I, you know, I had just bought that Kathleen Lights uh, ColourPop collab for my ColourPop full face and <laughs> Lulu, I let Lulu keep it. So I'm like, do I reorder that? Or right now they have a build your own palette and the one I was looking at is 12 eyeshadow colors and three face colors. So I could get a highlight, a blush, a bronzer, and then 12 eyeshadows. And they put it in a Z palette for you. So I think I might do that. Uh, the one I was looking at is either 42 or $48 and it's a good deal. And then I want to try a different color concealer from them as well. And they just came out with a stick foundation and I've never used a stick foundation. So I may also try that. Um, they're also having a sale, buy one, get one free on the no filter concealers, but the build your own palette saves more money if I'm gonna get both of them. So I'll just get one of the concealers instead of two different colors. The, the, the concealers are six bucks. The stick foundations are 10 and the, the liquid foundations are 12, I believe. Um, I was also looking at a brow product from them, but I'm not sure. I've just been like so off my brows and Someone said in my full face of ColourPop, they're like, 
I wish you would do your brows. It just, it brings the whole look together. I don't know how to do my brows. I don't know what shape looks good on me. Even after going to, you know, the girl at the Benefit Brow Bar, I got so many comments that they didn't even like what she did and she was a professional. And so like, I don't care about my brows that much, honestly. I just, I don't. And there's no way to fix them. It's not like I can just let them grow because they don't grow. The only place I get hairs growing is right here in this area. Well, I'm not gonna leave those. So I don't know. I've got a couple solutions at home that I've been wanting to try. I just haven't had time to, so. Good morning, loves. It is a Wednesday, the 24th. Is that right? Yep. Wednesday the 24th. Halloween is next week. So guess who hasn't done any of the Halloween videos she wanted to do? This girl, ugh. I'm mad at myself, because I really did. I have like two or three videos edited, or not edited, ideas, and I just haven't had time to get them done. So I went home last night and I cooked the meatloaf into two rather large patties and baked it. And then I went to make myself some dinner. I took a little bit of the meatloaf mix and I scrambled it up or like browned it like ground beef. And then I took a potato and cut it up into small chunks. Well, I was cooking the potato and I wanted to keep some of the moisture in. So I put something over the top stupid ass me wasn't thinking and I put my plastic cutting board on top I don't know I, like I seriously don't know where my brain was Ugh, my seatbelt's all twirled up I don't know where my brain was like I, it must have been like lack of sleep I was so tired so I went back in to check my potato and <sighs> the plastic cutting board was stuck to the pan and it was my really nice small frying pan. And yeah, so those are both in the trash now. There was like, I finally got it off and there was like a big circle in my cutting board and there was like plastic all over the outside of my frying pan. I don't, I just don't know how I would get that plastic off. I like waited for it to cool I tried to like peel it off, but it was not gonna peel off. So I just cut my losses. So irritated at myself. Like, I don't know what I, I wasn't thinking. Like, so wasn't thinking, I don't, I don't know. So anyway, got that done last night. Uh, then I went in my room and I edited and uploaded the Candid Candy that came out this morning about not letting things hold you back. It was a very emotional video for me and like, I'm really glad that I did it. Um, I'm glad that I changed it because the other video, I was kind of like, <sighs> salty, I guess you could say. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I changed it and I'm glad I did this instead because it feels better. Wait, are we? Okay, you're going that way, so go. Are you going or not? I hate when people are dumb. <laughs> For Rizzle. <laughs> so I'm glad I, yeah, I'm glad I changed it because this was a more authentic and less crabby video. Um, and the reception so far seems good. It's only been out for like an hour and a half. Here's the beefcake. 
tried to do a cool design, but that didn't really work out. I tried to write the name Joe, because that's my boss's name. That didn't really work out either. It's a lot harder to write in ketchup than I anticipated. So, it's just whatever mashed potato recipe you want. And I have two, like, meatloafs in here. Two circular meatloafs. So, yeah. Let's see if the guys like it. Hi, guys. Okay, so it's after work. Um, the beefcake went over really well. They loved it. Oops, wrong one. I'm trying to wash my window. Um, yeah, they loved it. It, it was a hit. Um, I did not take any video stacking it or anything or cutting it. I didn't want to take video at work. And I was doing my best to get it done and get back to work. So I didn't want to like set up the camera and stuff. But I took some pictures, so I will insert those. Boss loved it. He, there was enough for, oh, excuse me. There was enough for him to take home some to his kids. So he was happy. Oh, I'm feeling better today. Like, I was feeling really crappy this morning. Like, I felt like this whole side of my face was, like, stuffed. Like, my ear, my nose, my eye was goopy. And so, I'm feeling better this afternoon. I, I, I actually, I got sick this morning. I, I threw up this morning. Well, dry heaved. Because I hadn't ate anything. Because my stomach was so upset. And so I dry heaved this morning, like, at work. My boss was like, uh, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I just, well, just don't feel well. Just not feeling great. And so I felt better after that. So I don't know, maybe something is not great in my tummy. I don't know. The whole thing. Maybe it's the flu. Who the F knows? Did I get my flu shot? Now I can't remember if I got my flu shot or not. I know I got my tetanus shot. I don't think I got my flu shot. Anyway, talking out loud again. Um, yeah, so I just, I had two packets of pumpkin seeds. Like I have like individual packets. They're like a hundred calorie packets of pumpkin seeds. So I had two of those about 10 o'clock. And then I had the meatloaf cake. So I probably will not have dinner or anything. I did put some chicken in the crock pot while I was at home, just so that I would have meat for the rest of the week, because I've been like slacking so bad. All the vegetables I got should last um, until at least Sunday, so I can get them cooked and cut up and stuff. I mean, they all looked really fresh when I got them. So, and that was, that was Monday. Damn, this week's gone by fast. I did start my Christmas shopping, so I'm excited about that. Like, I'm excited to get that started and get it out of the way. Um, I have Landon, his big gift all done, and then I just have a couple little things to get for his stocking. Um, I have some ideas for Logan and Leo. They're basically the only people I buy for. Um, I'm thinking about telling my sister not to buy me anything and I'll just buy for the boys. But I know my mom will buy me something even if I tell her not to. So I'll have to get something for her and her boyfriend. Which they're super easy. Like they're hard to buy for but they're easy because they like whatever we do. We usually just like put together a gift basket of like food and stuff like that because that's the easiest thing for them um they don't they don't need anything you know and neither do I I don't need anything so it's I don't know it's it's this weird thing when you get to be an adult about gifts and like it's funny to me when I hear adults making a Christmas list because I'm just like I don't know like maybe it's just me because like I like to give gifts, but receiving gifts makes me feel awkward because I just like never know what to say. Like I'm very thankful if someone takes the time to like pick something out for me, but it's like, 
I don't need anything. Like, it, I don't know. It's this weird dynamic. <laughs> like, and I guess, like, I don't know. I'm one of those adults that, like, I make my own money, so I don't, like, necessarily need someone to buy me something. Let's, let's have an experience instead of a gift. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll do that for my sister and my mom. Maybe I'll, like figure something like that out. Maybe I'll plan like a movie day or something for the three of us. That might be fun. My mom would love that, to be honest. Lunch and a movie with the three of us. Well, not the movie, but <laughs> lunch and shopping or something with my mom. She would love that. She always complains I don't spend enough time with her. I just, just don't seem to have the time to spend and so yeah she would like that <laughs> maybe for my sister I can offer to take the boys for a day so that she can have a date and I'll give her like a gift card for dinner or something now I'm thinking Carrie let me know what you think about that idea <laughs> She listens to my videos in the car sometimes, so if she listens to this one, she can tell me. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I can tell it's getting close to daylight savings because it's so dark when I go to work now. I feel like it changed the week I was gone. I don't like driving with that light on, so. Y'all are just gonna have to look at me in the shadows. We got like rain and there's so many leaves that fell overnight. It's awesome. Oh, I'm feeling so much better today. I went home and I went to sleep as soon as I got home. <laughs> I slept from like 5.30 till eight o'clock. So for about two and a half hours. And then I got up and started editing the California vlog which is gonna take me forever. And I did that for about two hours, maybe even less. And then I went back to bed and slept till this morning. So I'm feeling a lot better. My stomach doesn't hurt. Ugh. I did eat some plain rice last night. So that may have helped, I, I don't know. I just, I feel better now. Um, I'm still a little stuffy and my ears are still a little stuffy, but nothing like it was. <laughs> so tonight I need to, I really wanna get some Halloween stuff out. So I'm sure that'll come out before this. So if you saw a Halloween video, yay me, I actually did something. If you don't, boo me, I suck. I've been wanting to get Halloween stuff out, I just run out of time. I do think I'm going to wear a couple costumes next week. We'll see. I think I have Saturday where I can um, get some stuff done. I know that's kind of late notice, but what I'm gonna put together is gonna be like fairly easy stuff that you could probably get out of your closet. I did buy a few things. I really wanna be a pirate on actual Halloween. <laughs> And so I did buy a few things at Goodwill when I was in California. I do YouTube because I love YouTube. I, I like the people that I interact with. I enjoy putting content out. Oh. Yes, it's not my job. 
it's a hobby, but you know, it's, I love it. And I work really hard to put out, you know, three to five videos a week. And it seems like most of you like what I'm doing and that really makes me happy. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Life's a garden, dig it. Uh, do you boo boo? I don't know, like, <laughs> just making shit up now. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna have a great day, I'm actually feeling better, so should be able to get more done today than I did yesterday. Oi, yesterday was a drain, man. It was hard to just like, sit in my chair without wanting to fall asleep or go throw up, like it was awful, so. I will talk to you guys later. So I've been wanting to show you guys kind of the setup that I have for my makeup. So in here, well, up here I have setting sprays and a face wash and brush wash. And here is just a few lipsticks and some chaps. These are lipsticks, lipsticks, lipstick, lip, lip, lips. I prefer liquid lippies, so that's what I have. I have three drawers full of liquid lippies and then these are liquid lippies <laughs> these are lipsticks and then some more liquid and some sticks and then here I have concealers like my like to be concealers Oops. and then down here is my Maybelline Age Rewind and my pot concealers. So from NYX, Catrice, and from Avon. These are, this is a concealer. These two are a corrector and then my LA Girl. So then down here, let me pull this out. So these are masks for eyes or, I think they're mostly eye ones. There's a bubble sheet mask, another one of the lace peel ones. I feel like I'm holding this really strangely. So maybe I should just put the tripod down and then I will have two hands. What do you guys think? Okay, there we go. Um, then I keep my powders in here. In fact, just use this one. So this goes here, this one goes here. These are my foundations and my CC creams and my BB creams. And I have my Prep and Prime Hydrate, my Cover FX Cover. I love, love, love that stuff. So that's where that is. Oh, and glitter glue. I didn't finish over here. In here, this is all lashes. And that's the bottom, large bottom drawer. This is highlights, um, blush, bronzer, and then one eyebrow kit. Back here is my primer cup. So there's where all my primers are. These are all mascara. These are all eyeliner and a few eyebrow products. Three things of brushes. <laughs> this is my dirty brush um, one, the ones that need cleaned. These are eye brushes and these are face brushes. And then I have these small containers. This one's kind of a miscellaneous one. So it's got a strobing kit from Hard Candy, some cotton swabs, moisturizer. It's got my quick change. Um, I've got eyebrow products. I have a pot eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar. I have my Jeffree Star lip scrub and then my Jeffree Star minis. I wanted to keep them in the box, but the box is so huge for the small amount of lipsticks that are in there. So I put the box up in my closet, but like I didn't throw it away, but I took them out. So this is all eyeshadows. These are, well, not all of them. Okay. This is mostly eyeshadows. These are my small eyeshadows. So single ones that I haven't depotted, my smaller ones, my Venus palettes, my naked palettes in here, and then these are some smaller palettes. But then back here is face palettes. So like the Pro, Glo Pro Glow palette. 
and my pure sculpting palette which I love and then I've got eye shadow toppers and these are glitter down here that's where those are and then if we go this way you can see here's my jewelry um, I love this little hanger I got it from Amazon I will try to remember to link it below I love this statement necklace it is from the happy boutique and I will link them below they were so great they sent this to me and this one I love this one as well it's so nice all right and then I got this skull necklace which I'm gonna wear with one of my Halloween costumes I think this necklace it's heavier than it looks like it's it's really heavy duty and I think it would be really good for a man or a woman it's got a masculine you know look to it but it's still really pretty and I got this from a seller on Amazon and I love it um, I got another necklace from them that I gave to my sister for her birthday and then here's some of my other jewelry I have a lot of premier designs I used to sell with them um, yeah these are mostly premier 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 <laughs> this was from Rose Gal last year premier someone sent me this beautiful fox one and someone sent me this turtle one I think this one came from Eva Eva Dramatica but I don't remember the name of the person that sent me the other one I'm so sorry so that's my necklaces so then if we go up here I have my big eyeshadow palettes so I've got this tart one that won't fit <laughs> this is a pot rack uh, like a pot lid rack that I got off Amazon so I've got my Jeffree Star blood sugar I've got two highlight palettes here which uh, Jeffree Star and what's this is the unicorn glow palette you know and then I've got my Juvia's Place my Jeffree Star Thirsty palette my Emily Noel palette so yeah um, and then I've got these face palettes from BH Cosmetics that are here too so this is just a really nice way to keep that kind of stuff and that's pretty much it um, it's it's nothing fancy um, I just got rid of a bunch of makeup um, I gave a bunch to my friend Lulu and I gave a bunch to my sister for her birthday and so that's what I have right now um, I do have like moisturizers and more like facial cleansing stuff in a box over here and then I keep like wipes and stuff in a box under here so they're out of sight and out of you know like I don't have to look at them all the time <laughs> which is nice um yeah so that's oh and I keep my beauty blenders in here those those ones need to be washed but yeah that's about it nothing nothing too spectacular um I hope this gave you guys maybe some ideas on how to store your jewelry and your makeup and I will see you in the next video bye guys